All right then guys, how's it going? It is JT Judgment here and once again guys, welcome back to the channel for another WWE Super Card video. I've got quite a few things to go over in today's video guys, hopefully making it a good episode for you guys to watch and for me to also go through and play and collect uh, the rewards that I've got in this video. Hopefully guys, it'll make it one hell of an episode. So guys, with that being said, if you do enjoy this video, go ahead, drop a like. If you want to subscribe to the channel as well, then feel free to do so. If you do enjoy the content and you would like to see some more Supercard content from myself as soon as I can post them, guys, then you guys can go ahead, feel free and do that. Now, I do realize I haven't posted in a couple of days again, guys, but your boy's been a little bit busy. Haven't been able to play as much or at least record as many uh, you know, Supercard uh, videos that I would like to, but I've finally found some time that I can actually sit down and do a bit of a recording session. I've got some things saved up, some things that I probably should have claimed uh, a little while sooner than now, but uh, yeah, I wanted to keep them for the video um, just to make things a little bit more exciting, you know? Okay, guys, so I guess the very first thing that I need to go over is whether or not I did actually get myself the AJ Styles card that we currently have as an event card within the game. Now, as soon as I saw it, it, you know, it became a card that I wanted to get. I mean, I, 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 I like to get the event cards every single week, don't get me wrong, but whenever Cat Daddy, you know, bring out an event card with a unique design like this week and last week obviously with Road to Glory and Ring Domination, the current event card, it makes me want to play for the card that much more. You know, I don't understand why uh, Cat Daddy just don't introduce more card designs more often. I can understand them not doing it every single week, but just introduce cards that have their own unique design every now and again or at least more often than they're currently doing it. Because off the top of my head, the one that they did before this, guys, wasn't it last year's 2K18 Seth Rollins card? Correct me if I'm wrong there, guys, but I can't remember another event card other than that Seth Rollins that they've done before now. I know it's been a long time, guys. I just wish it's something that they would introduce and, you know, just include more often. I went through RTG. I did struggle a little bit on plus 10s on Road to Glory when it comes to the AJ Styles card. But I got to the end, guys, and all I needed was, I think it was one or two points. So I did a two-pointer to make things easy to finish it off. And not only, guys, did I give myself the AJ Styles card itself, I did make my way through the heroic version as well. And you will either have already seen it or you will be seeing it on the screen right about now guys the heroic upgrade being applied to that sweet looking AJ card and what it does to the card guys I think it looks sweet you know you go from a red card design to a, her uh, a heroic card that adds a bit of blue to parts of the card you know it makes it a little bit more colorful rather than you know just your basic just red design you've got a bit of blue added into it doesn't sound all that different i know but when you actually see the heroic card itself which you should be seeing or at least have seen on the screen looks a little bit better in my opinion you know so there's one aj styles done guys and if you didn't see i was using the season 2 pcc image on that card which does look absolutely as AJ would say, phenomenal on that card. I mean, I think a lot of people that have been playing since Season 2 and have got that image of AJ, we've been waiting for AJ to have a card that we can use that image on. And finally, we've got it, guys. It looks pretty sweet on the card, and I'm very excited to see what that image does look like on the pro now moving to the present now guys you're going to be moving into this week's ring domination i'll go in right now to show you guys my current progress and as you can see we are slowly making our way well i say slowly it's three o'clock in the afternoon on saturday and i'm already just about to start the heroic upgrade I'm surprised I've actually made it this far because all I've spent credits on so far, guys, is title matches, which is what I only spend credits on. I never spend credits on bouts because I think they're a waste of time. You can just wait for your bouts to refill and you can use ads. And if you do that, you can make your way through the events on a weekly basis very easily. It's just if you do that, you're going to be finishing pretty much either, you know, sometime on on the Sunday, the last day of the event. But this week, 
I've been using my adds and using my games when they replenish. My shard luck has generally been absolutely dreadful. The amount of times I've gone to the last shard this week is absolutely just, just disgusting. But somehow, I've actually made it further than I would have done on, you know, than I have done in past ring dominations. It's confusing me to say it out loud. I'm, I'm guessing it's confusing you as well. But this is my current progression. I've got 40 title matches left to go. So let's jump into a game, guys. And for this video, we are going to be finishing Alistair Black and moving swiftly on uh, to the heroic upgrade for the second AJ Styles to get myself that full heroic card of AJ, which I'm very, very excited to get and add to the deck. And speaking of adding AJ to the deck, once he is added... Um, my last man standing lineup for the male side of things anyway is looking very good because AJ will give me a complete lineup of male pros. Now even though I do have myself the money in the bank pro of Alexa I still haven't fully leveled her because she's still to this day my only female pro in Goliath tier. So until I actually have a more stable lineup of females in Goliath tier, I think I'm just going to keep her at the level she is just to make Last Man Standing a little bit easier, you know? So let's get things done with Alistair Black. I wouldn't be surprised if I go down to the last shard because, yeah, like I've already done, my shard luck in this ring domination has been absolutely terrible. And that's actually a very good pull for me because that's a super rare pro that I need for the catalogue. So that's actually not too bad. We get another super rare enhancement. Uh, let's see if we can get another one. We get an ultimate Heath Slate that I, I do actually need to uh, keep a track on these resets. And let's see if we manage to get another one, which we do, which is a super rare, which I actually don't need as a pro for the catalog. But yeah, speaking of pulls, guys, as we go into the next game to actually finish off Alistair Black, which actually isn't a pro for me. Uh, but it's a card that I wanted because I want to see what that WrestleMania 33 Fusion image looks like that uh, on this card would be pretty sweet and if i get myself a alistair black from the board or from a king of the ring or a team battleground pack then i will be laughing as that will be uh, yet another male pro uh, added to my lineup but speaking of pulls guys since i last made a video i have pulled so many freaking goliath cards off the board it is unbelievable absolutely unbelievable i love being in plus plus tiers of the best tier in the game because you literally are swimming in pulls you're pulling so many cards off the board it shouldn't really be that long is what i'm trying to say before you get yourself a full deck of pros uh, let me actually uh, let me uh, throw Daniel up there, and then I should be able to throw John Cena in there. Yeah, it shouldn't be too long, guys, before you actually get a full male lineup of pros. I don't think I'm too far away, because I have pulled myself some things off the board, which I'll show you guys in a second, or you will have probably already seen on the bottom of the screen, um, showing you guys my male lineup in RTG. But I'll go through them in just a second as we collect the last shard, giving myself another reset on Alistair Black, Moving swiftly on now, guys, to the uh, to the heroic upgrade for the second AJ Styles card, and I hit the card limit, which is exactly what I was expecting to do. So let me go swiftly in. Let me quickly train up this Kurt Angle. Okay, so we're going to move into my Goliath cards now, guys. We're going to scroll all the way across. As you can see, I've got loads of Goliath cards. We're going to lock in that Alistair Black. And we're going to switch his image to his fusion to see what that looks like. I think that does look pretty sweet, doesn't it, guys? Let's have a look what his um, his event looks like as well. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, another image that just looks awesome on that card. Let's have a look at his Titan. Yeah, again, it looks awesome. I haven't... I'm not really going to look... Yeah, that doesn't really look great because of the green glow. And then his Mania 34. That actually doesn't look too bad, guys. But for the time being, I'm going to stick with uh, with his unique WrestleMania 33 event card. So before I get into what I want to get into for this video, guys, let's just go through, you know, just the, the plethora of pulls that I've had off the board. I've pulled myself a Peyton Royce. I've pulled myself a Fandango. I've pulled myself a Shayna 
is it Basler, Shayna Baszler or Basler? I don't know. This this last. I've pulled that off the board. Um, I managed to pull myself a Razar or Razor, however you want to say his name, which is a massive, massive troll because Akam is the the very first Goliath in ring domination, and I actually pulled a uh, pulled Razar off the board after pulling Akam or Akam off of ring domination. So I got Akam. Uh, I went into wild mode or war mode to try and force my pull, which I did, and I got myself a Rizal. So it was a massive troll to see him flash. Um, some other pulls that I've managed to get off the board. I got myself an Alexa Bliss, which was awesome. I got myself Matt Hardy, which was awesome, and I'm pretty sure I got someone else. Did I get someone else? No, I didn't. These actually these are cards that I've actually had for the, for for quite a while now. So yeah. Oh no, actually yeah. So, sorry guys, I'm all over the place. I've had so many pulls off the board lately, guys. I'm all over the place. Um, I managed to pull myself an Elias off the board, which thankfully he's already been given out, so that made uh, that made a pro for me. And I also pulled myself a Cassius Ono, which exactly like Elias has already been given an out in an event or given out in an event. Uh, so that gave me. Uh, another pro and then Rusev was the was it team ring domination it was team ring domination I think guys um, and thankfully I already had Rusev in my collection so that made another pro for me guys so we have racked up quite a few pros um, compared to last time and obviously we've got these two AJ Styles cards which is definitely going to be a pro in the very near future once I do get myself that heroic upgrade from Ring Domination. Looking at these two images as well guys, if I go back and forth very very quickly, I'm pretty sure they are the exact same image, it's just his hair has been edited to a different style. So you've got this card which is short haired AJ and this card which is long wild hair AJ. If I go back and forth again, the facial expression doesn't change at all. The clothes that he's wearing doesn't change. The gloves don't change. I'm pretty sure that is the exact same image. It's just his hair is different. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that in the in the comment section down below, guys. It doesn't really bother me one bit. We get two very, very good images to use on this card. But uh, yeah, I still need to train the, both AJs up. And got a lot of work to do before he's proed, guys. So the next thing now, guys, we are going to jump in to some Team Battleground rewards. Now, for those of you with a keen eye, you will have noticed that I've got a different champion on my account. It's something that, I'm not going to lie, I did struggle to do. Because that Eddie card is just the pride and joy in my collection. I love it to bits. It's been my favourite card in Supercard ever since it was added. But I've decided, you know what, let's just change things up a little bit. Because there's one card that has eluded me for what seems like the longest time. I've, I got very lucky last week, guys, because he was given out in Road to Glory. And that is the WrestleMania 34 Stone Cold Steve Austin. But I'm still hoping and praying that sooner rather than later, I can get myself the second one to give me a pro. So what I've done, guys, I've done everything I possibly can to sway the luck in my favour to give me... A WrestleMania 34 Stone Cold Steve Austin out of the packs that I'm going to be opening in this video. What I've done, as always, I'm wearing Austin 316 hat. If I stand up, guys, look, I'm repping the merch. Austin 316 on the shirt. And what I've done, guys, my cat. if I go to catalog, I've chosen uh, the ultimate card of uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. His throwback, I do have the pro. Uh, there he is guys, a pro version, a sweet looking pro version of Stone Cold Steve Austin who I have chosen as my champ just to see if all these things may sound ridiculous but hey ho, doesn't harm to try. See if all these things do actually give me the luck in getting Stone Cold Steve Austin because it's a pro that I've wanted ever since he was added into the game. So if I go into my mailbox, I've actually got two rewards to claim, guys. One of which I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's a guaranteed WrestleMania or if it's a Titan to WrestleMania. So we're just gonna jump straight into these rewards first, guys. See, we didn't quite hit 10,000 points. So I'm not quite sure if we get a, a guaranteed WrestleMania 34. So let's see what we get in this pack, boom. 
No, we get a monster and a titan. So let's see, Roderick Strong and Seamus. So other than the points, that pack was completely, completely and utterly useless. But this is where things get fun, guys. This is where we get ourselves potentially... Well, we get a we get one ran. Let me try out again. We get one guaranteed WrestleMania card, but we got the chance of three in this pack, guys. So claim the rewards. Come on, Cat Daddy Gods. I've done what I can. You know what I want. Austin three sixteen. Austin three sixteen. Come on, game. Please, finally, give me a Stone Cold Steve Austin WrestleMania thirty four to give me a pro keep those fingers crossed guys come on platinum pack oh and uh, a goliath would be nice as well <laughs> completely forgot about goliaths let's see what we get guys platinum pack from team battleground come on three two one please be insane boom we don't get a goliath guys but we do get two wrestlemania 34 cards can one of them be stone cold steve austin we get two chances Come on, game, please. I am begging. Or a female that makes a pro. That's what I want to see. Come on. We get Matt Hardy, which I've already proed twice. So that's not what I want to see. Come on. Stone Cold Steve Austin. 316. 316. Come on. We get Finn. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised because, as we all know, it's always Finn. So two WrestleMania 34 cards that I've already proed. So they are either A, fusion food, or B, food to level up my pro AJ Styles when I do go ahead and pro him, guys. But we're not done yet. We are not quite done yet. I do have myself some King of the Ring rewards to claim, which is actually a win in a Goliath King of the Ring. So not only are we guaranteed a WrestleMania 34 card from these rewards, we are also guaranteed... A Goliath card as well and it can be a male or a female uh, either would be awesome um, pretty much something that makes a pro is what I'm looking for in Goliath tier a female that makes a pro would probably be the best thing that pops out of this pack but uh, yeah I've had these rewards saved up for a couple of days now this is my very first uh, Goliath tier King of the Ring win Let's see if we can get something absolutely awesome to mark the occasion. So finally claiming the reward. Let's see if Steve decides to make an appearance out of this pack. Shall we guys? Let's claim three, two, one. And let's do it guys. Boom. We get, we get Xavier Woods, which I think is actually a pro that I need for the catalogue. But I really wanted to see... Stone Cold uh, Flash there, or a female that makes a pro. But we're not done yet, guys. Let's see what we get as the Goliath card from King of the Ring. Come on, please be something insane. Come on. We get, we get Finn. I, <laughs> it's a good card, guys. Don't get me wrong, and it's a new card for me. But I was really hoping to get something that would make a pro. But there we have it, guys. We get Finn, as always, because why? It's always Finn. But we didn't walk away with the one card that I desperately wanted. I don't know what I've got to do to get myself a second Stone Cold Steve Austin. I can't pull him off the board to save my life. I can't, and, and going from, t you know, from all these packs that I'm opening in these videos, I can't pack him to save my life either. So what we're going to do now, guys, uh, let's go over to General. Oh, I'm already in Goliath, so let's scroll all the way over. Let's have a play around with his images quickly, guys. So his, his Goliath image, you know, by default is actually a pretty sweet image. But Finn has got some decent images that I'd like to try out. So let's have a look at his Season 2 Legendary Event. On this card uh, oh that does look nice doesn't it guys it does have a slight red glow around the image but it does look pretty sweet uh, let's swap to the to the fusion yeah I've never really been a fan of the fusion images guys because they've got quite a glow on them 
but that glow actually suits that uh, that car design. Let's have a look at his his SummerSlam. Yeah, another one that just just suits the card. Uh, is SummerSlam again? Yeah, another card design that just looks awesome. Uh, what images left do we have? WrestleMania 33. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I'm not going to lie. It's not my, my my favorite image of Finn, but it doesn't look too bad. It's SummerSlam 17. Another one looks pretty sweet. Uh, SummerSlam 17 uh, Fusion doesn't look too bad. Uh, his newer images then, guys. Let's have a look at his, his Christmas Fusion with the Christmas, uh, you know, the Christmas sweater on. Doesn't look too bad, but for the time being, guys, I'm going to stick to this Season 2 Legendary event. Always been one of my favourite images of uh, of Finn in this game. So there we have it, guys. We've gone through Ring Domination. Let me know how you guys are getting on uh, in getting that sweet-looking AJ Styles card. If you've managed to get yourself any heroic version, then I tip my hat to you guys, because the grind is real if you do want to get yourself these heroic cards, especially... Uh, the the you know the full heroic uh, you know road to glory the grind is undoubtedly real, but let me know how you guys are getting on in the comment section down below. We've gone through ring domination, we've gone through team battleground packs. I've collected some king of the ring rewards as well. Hopefully my luck can sway to the good side of things in the very near future, and I can finally get myself that second WrestleMania 34 Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's the card. Above the AJ Styles event, it's the card that I want to get in Supercard right now. That's how much of a fan I am of Steve Austin himself and collecting his cards in the game. Because, you know, if, if, if that's not proof enough, I mean, look at my cards, guys. Uncommon, fully proed, uncommon card. Rare, fully proed, rare card. Super rare, fully proed, super rare card. You see where this is going, guys? I like to collect every single Steve Austin card that is that gets put into the game. I've even got his throwback for crying out loud. <laughs> you know, so yeah, I like to collect Steve Austin's cards in this game. As you can see, that fusion just looks absolutely sick. And speaking of Steve Austin, there's my pride and joy. Eddie Guerrero throwback WrestleMania tier. We're going to end the video on that note, guys. Whenever Steve or Steve Austin or Eddie gets a card in this game, I really do make it a priority to try and collect them it's something that i like to do within supercard whenever they get added you know so that's going to wrap up this video guys if you did enjoy smash the like button down below subscribe today for more supercard content to come out as soon as i can post them guys i know my channel has been pretty quiet over the past week or two but you know your boy's been pretty busy as soon as i do get the opportunity to record though guys I will, and I will get those videos out as soon as possible, guys. So, like I said, drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe today for more content to come soon. And as always, most importantly, please take care. And I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.